Hi everybody, Peter Vogt here, the introvert advocate on a beautiful fall day here in northern Minnesota. And today's video, just a quick one, it's about how clutter is not your friend when you're an introvert. In fact, clutter is your enemy when you're an introvert. Clutter, I'm talking about physical clutter. So if you're trying to do some work and your desk is full of crap, and your office is full of crap and everything around you is in disarray and out of order and out of sorts, you are not helping yourself, especially when you're an introvert. Why? Well, think about some of the most common characteristics of any introvert. One of the biggest ones is that when you get overstimulated, when you have too much external stimulation, too much external noise, it makes you crazy. It does it, it, it makes it so you can't think straight, makes it so you can't concentrate. And so clutter just adds to any kind of stimulation that you're already trying to battle when you're an introvert. So it just doesn't help, it harms. The other thing that's such a pain and such a, a bad thing about clutter is that when you're trying to do your deep thinking that you thrive on as an introvert, when you're trying to really focus, maybe try to, you're trying to solve some kind of problem that you've been wrestling with for a long time, or you're trying to, in my case, for example, maybe write an article or write something that takes lots of focus, lots of deep thinking, lots of analysis, and then you look around and all you see is garbage. Well, there's a reason that the old saying is garbage in, garbage out. And when you're an introvert, once again, it just doesn't help you to have all that clutter around. So what, what do you do? And it, this sounds ridiculous. And I can, I can already hear at least some of you saying this is a great procrastination strategy, but I swear to God, it's not. If you're surrounded by clutter, if you've got a clutter problem and you're an introvert, take an hour, take half a day, whatever it takes and clean up. Seriously, just clean up your space, clean up your desk, get organized, clean up your entire office, make it inviting to your brain and to your soul so that the next time you sit down to really try to do something serious, and that takes a lot of thought, you're not gonna be surrounded by the garbage that just prevents that from happening and makes you crazy with all the overstimulation. I, I'm telling you, cleaning up and decluttering your space when you're an introvert is one of the best investments you can make in terms of the time and energy you put into doing it. Even if, like I said, even if it takes half a day, You'll thank yourself later for having an environment to work in that allows you to think, that allows you to be calm, that allows you to focus, and focuses everything when you're an introvert especially. So I hope that is something that gives you some food for thought for today. As always, thanks for watching this video and all the other ones I produce. If you like it, please share it with people in your life that you think might find it helpful as well. And as always, you can always subscribe to these videos on both Instagram and on YouTube. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. If you want to learn more about what I do with introverts and introversion, as always, just come visit me on my website at introvertinsights.com. Hope you're enjoying the day. Hope you have a nice, clean office and clean workspace in the very near future. Trust me, it'll help you. Have a good day, everybody. Thanks for watching. Take care.